Hello and welcome to the Real Housewives of Atlanta recap and let's get into this bitch. What's tea? What's the issue? And before I begin, we will have a special guest popping up in this motherfucker, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> bye. Bye. Get out. Bye, bitch. So skipping through some scenes like I motherfucking do because we are not going over everything. <laughs> no. So the first scene we get is motherfucking candy money bags. She has some of the girls over for Ace's birthday party. These are our cousins. Hi, cousins. Let me go get my two little ones and then we will get this thing started. Now, as you guys just saw, Drew is there and Kenya is the other girl that is coming due to her having a young child. So, you know, they're celebrating Ace's birthday birthday like I previously motherfucking said. Get into it. Bazinga. <laughs> no, but I felt like I had to explain why, you know, some of the other girls weren't there is due to them not having young kids. I think Sanya could have been invited due to her having a young child, but I don't know what happened to that situation. But I do know that Sanya did FaceTime Kenya during this birthday party to invite her over to a, um, I guess, Sheree's birthday party and a Jamaican themed party because they're going on a trip there later. And before I go further, I meant to say she's not only inviting Kenya, obviously she's inviting all the girls, but the person she FaceTimed was Kenya. So yeah. And while she was FaceTiming Kenya and Sanya was explaining the rules of, you know, you have to have a significant other or somebody else on the trip to come with you, Kenya hangs up the phone on her because she thinks that shit is ridiculous. <laughs> Shut up. Like Candy motherfucking said in the episode, you know Kenya is going through a divorce right now. Why would you require that she brings a significant other on this trip? Like, come on now. Anyways, the next scene we get is Candy sitting down with her man, you know, her sugar baby, and they're discussing with their kids what would happen if one of them passed away or both of them passed away. I would rather give out sums in different stages of your life. So instead of giving it all to you, it's spread out and that you're able to have financial wealth throughout your whole life. Wow, look at Sugar Baby talking with some si Oh, oh, okay. Let me stop calling Todd Sugar Baby. Allegedly in this bitch because I don't want to get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail, period. No, but I actually agree with what Sugar Baby is telling the girls in regards to, you know, getting their funds if something happened to the parents if they passed away. Um, he wants to give them a large, or not a large, but a lump sum of money, you know, sporadically throughout their life, set up in a trust. And I don't think that's a bad idea due to, you know, one, Riley, she spends money motherfucking crazy. It seems like Candy always is having to give her money, which I'm here for, do for your daughter, of course. But I feel if she got a large lump sum of money, if her mother passed, she would go crazy, okay? Any kid would, really. Okay, okay, I don't know if Candy is really giving Riley money all the time and that she has her hands out begging, but I'm, because I know she does actually work, Riley, I'm talking about, but it seems that Riley is spoiled and not in a bad way, she's just blessed. But the point I'm making is, I know Riley is used to living a certain way and I feel like, I don't know, she may just go crazy. And I feel like if Todd's daughter got a large lump sum of money, she would go absolutely crazy because she ain't never really had it. And I'm not dissing her. I'm just saying. Oh, God. God. Todd makes that girl work like a motherfucking slave. And that's the truth. If something happened to the both of us, but what if something happened to one of us mm -hmm. and then the other one is still here? See, and that's where we differ because... That's where we differ. Anyways, moving on, because I don't really know why they're discussing all this, you know, death shit on TV. I mean, I guess it is to help other people, you know, get their wills and stuff in order. But, you know, I feel like this is just for a storyline. So moving the fuck on. So we move on and we see She by Sheree about... Okay, hold up now. Velvet died. <gasps> I'm sorry. Let me reverse, I guess. Let me go back to last week when Candy was trying to inform, or not inform, give a master class to Sheree on how she can, you know, get She by Sheree started. Get, like, what's going on? Why is it taking so long? This has been how many years and we've seen nothing yet? Girl, come on. She by Sheree. She by Sheree. Exactly. And to me, it makes no sense that people can't buy it yet. How dreadful. 
<laughs> yes, I'm uh, revamping a line. revamp is cute but are we getting something new is it going to be like baseball caps and t-shirts or is it going to be fashions that you were trying to do years ago like what are we doing here you did own a boutique years ago a fashion boutique so i'm confused on what's going on now we're doing lifestyle it is cheaper to make i guess but then who are you trying to play because it looks like you got the motherfucking merch done because you're wearing a she by sheree sweatshirt right now so what's really going on I'm a clown. a clown. Now look, I'm not knocking the hustle, but Bravo needs to stop playing with people. It's clear again that she had this line probably done before filming. And you know she was just using this for a storyline so she can promote this shit, which is very smart. So we can buy it up. Will I be buying it up? Hell no. I don't want a baseball cap and girl, I'll go to Nike or something like that. I thought she was going to be doing fashions because she had a fashion background and a boutique like I said previously. But let's move on. Okay. She by Sheree sounds confused of her own brand. Like, she's been running in circles and due dates since 2008, maybe earlier. It's 2022, y'all. Y'all do the math. That's 14 years. I want a huge show. A huge show. I want a huge show. Hold up, hold up. You see how we make motherfucking mistakes, girl? We're starting off talking about fashion shows with no fashions. This is the problem. Didn't Dwight tell your ass already? How dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> you're too busy trying to get ahead and start on a fashion show again and you don't even have the product yet but like i said previously it's clear you do have the product and this is just for a storyline because you wouldn't be talking about a fashion show so early on that's my opinion i hope y'all are catching on that again i think that she had this line done previously before filming which is fine, but stop playing people like you're going through the process of starting a fashion line while filming. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you. Is it a coincidence? Hopefully what I'm saying makes sense and I'm not knocking her. Get to the motherfucking bag, but don't be trying to play me, honey. I see what's going on. Anyways, let's move on to the next scene. Okay, not the next scene, but still her explaining this you know she by sheree is it menswear women's wear as it's both? well it started out as women's but i've gotten so many requests from men oh, okay. who like oh i want a jogger too <laughs> with men there yes. will be a, a vpl <laughs> joggers Excuse me? Joggers. It's more lifestyle. Okay. So he's talking about your, your clothing line, Sheba Sheree. Are you bringing know, it back? Oh. So if I'm well, going to. Well, uh, clear. You weren't clear. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. I'm doing joggers. Why am I getting so much backlash? Are you saying lifestyle. you're doing a line of yes. Sheba yes. Sheree yeah, athletic wear? Yeah, athletic, but lifestyle. When? Uh, probably more September for, uh, that is, uh, spring, summer. No, 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 no. Let's take it back. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right here. Right here. This is a problem. So what are we giving here? What's going on? Like, you talking about VPL? Yes, I'm here for it. Yes, let's get into it. I need some. Let me stop. Then the wetness. His thrust, his tongue deep into my ass, licking all of my anal walls. He sucked and licked and slurped and tongue, going from my pussy to my ass and then back up again. He pressed deep down into my pussy, shaking his head back and forth. I felt like the facial stubs all over my... Mm. 
I felt the facial stub all over my pussy and it felt glorious. He licked and flicked my clit and tongue, fucked my ass until his face was, was covered with honeycomb. After mopping up all the cum with his juicy tongue, he pulled out his big, long, fat ass dick and slapped me on my ass with it, rubbing it back and forth and back and forth across my brown hole. Mm -hmm. Let the church say amen, because we all need some of that right now, okay? Okay, hold on now. I guess I shouldn't be promoting that as monkeypox is rampant, so you bitches do need to stay in and stay safe. So scrap what the fuck I just said. Allegedly in this bitch, because I don't want to get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. They are going to jail, period. Y'all won't be getting my ass talking about I'm spreading misinformation when I am not. I am going off Google and Twitter, so I guess that may be misinformation, but let's just move on. And I have a special guest here named Liv, and she's going to give you her motherfucking opinion and grade of She by Sheree so far this season because this is her third time back, maybe second time back. I don't know how many times she's been back, but she's had enough chances, okay? We got you. We got you. By your third time, you should have all of this down, not the struggling ass storylines. Enough. What's up, y'all? It's Liv, otherwise known as O Dubs on Twitter. <laughs> Just here to give my opinion on what's been on everyone's mind spring, summer, and September. She by Sheree. Yes! <laughs> yes! I loved Sheree in the past. Definitely a vital housewife. I was excited for her to come back this season to shake the girls up a little bit, but to be honest, it's been very underwhelming. I think that she's lost her old flavor. Child, I think she lost something because she could have just been a friend of. No shade. She, you know, her and Marlo, mm, mm. Looks like me and the producers need to have a little bit of a talk. She does make me laugh in her confessionals, but for me, that's not enough. No! Uh, with the ladies, she's never saying enough in the moment or really bringing it, which is disappointing because she had the foundation to stand on her own. And see, that's true, T, but see, in arguments, she can't keep up. It's almost, I, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Take your medication, child. It might calm down your nerves. And I know my tongue gets drawn up too, but damn, girl, you can't be stuttering while you're getting red. I mean, oh. On top of that, you bringing your whack rabid friend for tomb. I'm not gonna argue. She wasn't even talking to you. She when you went in or the. She was. She was. I, 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 I. You felt like it came out of nowhere. It did, because you were telling I, them, because you were trying to tell them how they should be getting along. And he was like, and I got to sit in the car next to this bitch. So what you mean? Oh, oh, what you mean? What you mean? Listen to me. Because you're not oh, coming. What the is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I don't have a moment talking to Marlo. I got something for you. This is where. Get it. Fast. Okay. Oh my gosh. Did this bitch throw Ross dildo if it When I saw the phone, I said, huh? I couldn't tell if it was a dildo. Batum, batum, batum with the copy and paste shade. You know that wasn't no goddamn dildo, okay? And if it is, I wonder what the hell you sticking up your ass, because that's crazy. child i forgot a part my memory is gone sour i forgot to mention and discuss marlo's scene where she's discussing her boys and when i say her boys i mean her nephews i'm gonna talk about it briefly because i think she's low-key pitiful for giving them away for 30 days or whatever obviously they have abandonment issues due to their mother leaving them and now you're tossing them over to your cousin or your uh, sister or whatever and you got my brain twisted with the bullshit but you pass them on to your sister and meanwhile she has kids of her own and she's a nurse like girl don't you think she needs a break too while you talking about you need a break uh get into the clip but i freaked out and i told michael and william to get out 
Now, I'm not going to say Marlo isn't a good parental person or whatever because I follow her on Instagram and it seems that she really does love the boys. But, you know, giving them up for a storyline is not cute, whether it's real or not. Moving along in this bitch, the girls are arriving to Sanya's house for Sheree's birthday party slash the Jamaican trip they're going to take or whatever. Anyways, Kenya gets there and Sanya has to talk to her about why the fuck did you hang up on me on the FaceTime call? Before we go out to the girls, yes. I wanted to. What? <laughs> you never hang up on me when you don't like what I'm, I'm saying. Honestly, though, if you don't like something, just tell me. Like, don't hang up on me. We ain't playing next. Okay, don't jump down my throat and snatch my edges for my opinion, but I agree with both girls in this instance. Don't fucking hang up on me because you don't like what the fuck I have to say, first of all. Do you want to do this? Do you? And then on the other motherfucking hand, I agree with Kenya because if you know I'm going through a divorce and a hard time right now, why would you require that I bring a significant other on this trip? Like, girl, no. But anyways, they moved along and they made up. It wasn't a big deal. Dun, dun, dun. That could literally change because it seems that Sanya is a bit of a flip-flopper and she wants an issue with Kenya, but we'll save that for another discussion. Moving along back to Sheree's birthday motherfucking party. She is now arrived. And when I say she, y'all should know who I mean. It's she by motherfucking Sheree. But anyways, we see Drew and Sheree start to get into it. And I will say Drew did kind of start with Sheree. But it's due to Fatoum. That sour ass girl that we really don't care for. Okay, let me stop being a flip flopper. Because some days I do like her and then some days I don't. So, yeah. I'm just so sick of looking at certain people. So I just take my eyes away from them. And I don't pay you no more motherfucking attention. At all. Now, Miss Sheree, you are turned up and throwing tomatoes that you need to throw at yourself because, I mean, hold on, let me stop. <laughs> I get you maybe writing for your friend Fatoum and, you know, Drew throwing dog bones and biscuits and so on at uh, Fatoum. <laughs> Uh, look, I like Fatoum, but this all started due to her trying to come for Drew about her gay hair. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Allegedly, because I don't need them doing nothing over here, okay? Stay away from my page. Now, I didn't call him gay or sissy that walk. I'm saying that's what Drew... Ooh, ooh. Hold on, my tongue is getting twirled up like charades. What I meant to say is, that's what Fatoum and Sheree are accusing, you know, Drew's husband of being. So I don't know, if I were Drew and somebody were calling my husband gay and, you know, doing background checks on me, maybe I would throw a dog bone and a biscuit and a Scooby snack at you too, bitch. And that's the truth. Yeah, so Sheree, I get you on a ride for Fatoum. I know that's your good girl, but... Wrong. Who are we talking to right now? Hold on. Are we talking to Daniel, Andrew, Drew? <laughs> uh, Tiffany, who am I talking to right now? Now, Miss Sheba Sheree, I am in no way a Drew stand, but I'm going to have to get into you because while you're throwing tomatoes at her and worried about what she has going on and y'all are doing background checks, why were you not doing this with the fraud, the theft, the felon, and so on, Tyrone, that you were dating? Allegedly in this bitch, because I don't want to get sued in this motherfucking hoe. And that's a lawsuit. You are going to jail. Period. And now you done went from a scammer and a fraud man to a, a clout-chasing asshole on Carlo King's ass show. What the fuck's going on? Oh, God, I'm going to throw up. We actually met through a mutual friend. So he's friends, met your family. He's met my friends. He met uh, several people in my family. And I don't know. I mean, we've been just hanging out and enjoy. I'm, I'm enjoying life right now. Do you think at all you're going to make this something long term or is this more fun? And you know, because everybody's like, we just, we want to know, we want you with Tyrone. You fought so hard for Tyrone. They did not say that. Now you make it well, You know, we, we, we wanted to win. That. You know, Ain't we, nobody said that. After that man did what he did, there is no way nobody said that. Ooh. No, that's a wrap. That is a wrap. 
on him for sure. I don't want her to be in a situation where it feels like, you know, where she's being used for publicity. You are like a ride or die. And then seeing the article, how'd you feel? I feel stupid. I feel crazy. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence? I ask you, is it a coincidence? I feel I feel duped. I feel like, you know, I feel like the damn people he stole the money from. You know exactly what I'm talking about. When we were going to Philly, mm -hmm. I got a phone call from Tyrone about this opportunity to make money. Later on that day, mm -hmm. I started getting phone calls saying that you've been calling Tyrone, mm -hmm. saying that I could have got your rate for way cheaper and mm -hmm. took the money off the top and mm -hmm. da da da. Not him Me. personally, you. How long have you known Tyrone? It doesn't matter. I'm just making a point. What's your point? You didn't know Tyrone, but you've known me. Earlier this year, and I gotta be honest, a uh, um, family friend of mine who was on another reality show. Uh -huh hit me up to go out on a date with him at Blaze and was like, oh, could you have another table open for us because we're gonna have somebody taking our pictures and videos so that oh, wow. they can post it and da 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 da, like this was something they had. And I was like, uh, okay. Oh. But no blog really posted, only like one place posted it. But my whole point was, <laughs> <laughs> now that I see, this similar situation, I'm like, uh, oh, is he doing wow. this? Or like, is he, is he genuinely being genuine or is he yeah. doing the same thing that he was doing with the other person I knew? So that's why I was like. Sheree, we want you to win, but you're throwing tomatoes and so on and doing background checks on Drew's husband. But the gag is who paid for your house, girl? Who paid for Chateau Thelma? I mean, ooh, ooh, Chateau Sheree. Do you want to do this? Do you? And let me clarify, I know it was motherfucking Sheree's friend who did the background check on Drew's husband and Drew, but, you know, Sheree was here for the antics, so here we are. We got you. We got you. Y'all know I live for messy ass housewives, and I love Sheree when she is being messy, but not when she's being a hypocrite girl, because... Like I said previously, who did pay for your house? Like, what's really going on? You haven't really worked besides the Housewives of Atlanta. I know you could do Instagram posts and get paid from that, but I know they're not paying for Chateau Charest like that. So, I'm guessing Tyrone is in jail because... Oh, oh, let me mind my business, but you get my point. Stop worrying about Drew in regards of doing background checks on people because some people should do the shit on you regarding Chateau Charest, like I said, because I want to know really how you pay for it. Exactly. I know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh.